Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be making my own bookcase. I've just shown you some inspiration of bookcases that I really really like and I'm just going to try and do this. Never done this before. Um, wish me luck um, but yeah I'm going to create my own archway bookcase. I want to show you what my wall looked like before and this is what the shelving looked like but this is what it looks like now at the present date. So let's get on with it. So before we begin, I'm going to be showing you some of the tools that I'm going to be using. Obviously, a lot of wood and a lot of wood pieces. I'm also going to be using a lot of power tools, so a lot of drills, powerful drills um, for concrete walls. And we're going to be using some MDF because I need something large to create the arch. And I'm going to be using this large piece of MDF to cut out my arch, which I will be um, obviously attaching to the wall itself. Um, yeah, so a lot of measurements have to go into this. Um, you might want to check out some videos on how to do this. Um, I did mine with the, the nail and string type method. So I've done my measurements and now I'm going to use my woodcutter and making sure that it is the same width as the wall that you're going to put the arch on. Here is the arch. So now I need to fix it to the wall or drill it in. So let's take a, wall, a look at the wall um, at the moment. And as you can see, there is a piece of wood up there. And I've also marked out as well on the wall, which is a great thing to do. It's just pencil um, where I want the individual shelves to go. And I've already looked into those shelves and I do want to get um, some scaffolding shelves. And I've seen some lovely ones in Etsy that I have already got on order. So, yeah, I've marked out where I want them. So I'm going to be using some slim pieces of wood, I think two by two pieces of wood, drill them into the wall. These are going to be what the arch is going to get attached to. OK, so I've used some no nails to um, attach the MDF arch onto the wood as well. And there is a few nails as well that you can't really see them very small um, just to help with getting it attached. So yeah, that's up in place and um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I like this bookcase to look authentic. So I've bought some ornate features from Amazon. These are really good, made of wood, easy to apply, no nails glue, and it can just simply transform um, a piece of furniture or bookcase. So here are the pieces. I've actually stuck them on with some no nails, let them dry. Um, and obviously I will paint the whole thing white. As you can see, I have done a layer of paint already on the arch. Inspired by interest, I'm actually going to also build myself with the extra pieces of wood, a cabinet for under the bookcase. So as you can see, underneath the bookcase, I have this very awkward, awkward concrete um, thing sticking out of the wall. Can't get rid of that. So I'm going to build the bookcase, um, the cupboard around it and I'm using a six by three solid pieces of wood. OK, so this is how it's looking so far. I've painted it a couple of coats of white on or even on the ornate pieces. And then down at the bottom here, we can see the unit is taking form. I've used some of that extra MDF um, for the bottom so it forms a base and I've put some wood around the concrete just because it's not a nice pleasant view to see it and I'm trying to hide it as much as possible. I can see I have plenty of storage space. I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that I've done this now. So I'm going to be using John Stone's interior wood and metal paint in brilliant white and I'm going to start painting the unit. I'm also going to use those black and white tiles as you saw. Um, I'm going to be putting them on the MDF at the bottom just to make it look prettier. Um, yeah, let's get on with that.
So to the, do the door, I used MDF and I measured out the hole. And what I did was I also gave it a kind of panelled effect. And inside of the panels, I used some um, dado trim, like some really fine dado trim, just to give it the illusion that it's been panelled. And um, yeah, and just use the no nails, which work perfectly. And I'm going to be getting hinges from Amazon, some cast iron hinges. So making it look farmhouse, I've rusted it up a little bit, you know, wanted it to look a little bit rustic, I've put all the cast iron detailing on there, bit of a bit of ornate, also use some dark wax to bring that ornate up. I think it looks better than what I could have imagined. So for the top of the cupboard, I have um, ordered a large, big piece of MDF, a really large, I think six centimetres thick. So with all the shelves in, I wanted it to look like farmhouse, rustic, everything on the shelves to be new and all kind of rustic looking objects. Um, obviously, we'll play around with it, but I'm really happy with it right now. And on the side of the wall, I also used one of those rub um, transfers, which I really liked. A bit um, of a chic look um, to the place. There it is. So to complement the bookcase, I also ordered a three draw, three door sideboard from Amazon. It's a Mexican pine, solid wood. I decided to use the cast iron hinges. I bought different ones and handles and I also painted it white with chalk paint furniture paint um, from Amazon as well. So you can see that I'm doing a few lovely coats of that it was very thin but it was better than being thick because it made me I'd rather do multiple coats but it being a really smooth finish so I was very happy with the way that this looked because um, yeah I wasn't expecting it to look as good as it did and it definitely revamped it up and it complemented what I had already designed myself um, so it all looked very fitting in the um, lounge area and I also stuck some checkered paper it's an adhesive paper I, again I got that from Amazon I'll link everything down below what I used in this video and I'm really really pleased um, and this is the finishing touch let me know what you think I think it looks very farmhouse very cozy um, yeah really really happy with the changes big transformation um, if I do say so myself and um, yeah I really love sitting in it in the warm winter days okay so I'm going to end this video just showing you everything now in the room and how it looks so um, this is my little cat corner at the moment so I've got the scratch post which I bought from Amazon and also this little three tire house because I have three cats now three hairless cats so that's really nice they've all got their own little place to sleep they do like to sleep at the top um, so yeah so let's go over to the shelves so this is what it looks like and I have bought some new accessories, um, the basket I got from Etsy and the marble vase over there, I think I showed you in a previous video, was from Primark, it's only about 150 it looks really really nice and I got the home which is really heavy actually and uh, that's marbled effect as well if you can see that and I got that from eBay actually, that was from eBay. And then I've got some great books. Um, these are really books that have inspired me as well to do these shelves. This one was from, um, this is the White Company. This was from Amazon. And then I got this really great book here. Um, this really gave me a lot of inspiration. It's Shades of White. I really, really love this lovely farmhouse. Um, you know, I'm going to show you a few pictures, sneak peeks of this book. I can definitely link these books down below because if you're looking for inspiration, got a new place, I'm not joking, this would definitely give you some great, look at that chandelier, some great inspo for, especially if you're doing it like farm, very simplistic and um, farmhouse designs. Yeah, so yeah. So, right, that's all I'm going to show you. But, yeah, I'll leave this down below. And, um, yeah, that's um, a great book. Inspired me a lot. 
so there you go just got my additional books there again elements of style love that book um and just the chanel book and then here i got these a set of heart trays it's lovely wooden rustic wooden set of heart trays again with these lovely tea lights here with the heart um i think these ones from ebay and these ones from amazon and then i got this tray which i actually did myself and uh, made it all look rustic um, this I got from eBay, no, Amazon, and it's the black and white, and it's got the black buffalo plaid kind of style country. These three vases here as well. I think these were from Amazon. And then I've got this lovely photo frame here, again, with the hearts from different places, but it's nice that they kind of complement each other. And then a little picture I'd put in myself. I got this from a company. I will try and put it down in the description box because I can't think of it on the top of my head. And I bought these from Amazon. So I just put these inside. And there's another one there. They come as a pair. And then down the bottom here, a lovely rustic jug. Um, this was from H&M yeah, H Home, I'm thinking... H&M Home, I'm thinking that was from. If not, then it was possibly from Dalal. So I have to um, find out where that was from. This I put on my wall. <laughs> um, it's one of the Hocus Pocus transfers, furniture transfer. You can actually put them on walls as well. And I think it looks really, really nice there. And then I have the set of houses I got from Amazon. They actually do light up. I'll just see the little lights at the top there. It's obviously... Um, lights in this room but um yeah and i got my little tea lights there which look really really nice in the evening and then this one i got from sainsbury's actually a very long time ago and you can light that up i've got a snow globe here with some swans inside and that looks really nice and my little lamp here which i got from amazon and i think it looks really nice and then i got this little tray here and i light up my candles in this and it just gives it a lovely homely effect. So this is my bookcase in all its glory and where all of the things are from. I'll list as much things as I can as possible. I also bought this great vase here. I think this one is from Etsy, I believe. And I just put some dry pampases in there and I really, really love that. I think that looks really, really nice against all of the furniture. And also this was the sideboard that I had repainted myself and made it clash with everything. So it all looks like kind of like a one piece set here. I just put my vase there, which I got from Amazon. All the flowers are from, some are from Ikea, some are from Delalme, all different places. Photo frame here in um, a lovely checkerboard effect which I got from Amazon and then found this lovely candle again complements it with the black and white again from Amazon um, I think this was from eBay actually that was from eBay and I got this which is just something I've had in the family for a very long time so I couldn't possibly tell you where I got that from because it's quite old um, I just love that effect um, and it's just nice to have a globe in the house and then obviously this um, diffuser this white ceramic diffuser I got from Amazon a while ago so yeah so that's just showing you what everything looks like at the moment there so I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I just want to show you quickly on my shelves here. Um, I have the pear, wooden pear and a lovely um, candle there, scented candle there in the middle and then the wooden apple at the bottom. Um, I, I replaced them. I actually had a pears and apples on there, but they were like a burgundy um, mirrored, crackled mirror effect. I really like this better because it suits with all of the decor at the moment and also going for that farmhouse rustic theme, having the woods, um, natural woods. I got those, all those three, with the candle from Delalme, actually. They were in Delalme and they were going really, really cheap, um, cheaper than what I could possibly have got these for anywhere else. So yeah, I don't know whether they're still in stock, but I got them from there and I'm really, really happy with them. 
So with all that being said, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it's inspired you if you're thinking of making your own bookcase. Um, I'm very happy that I did mine now. I'm really happy with the finishing touch. I can't possibly imagine now not having it. Um, it was well needed. It really looks nice in the evening when you are sitting relaxing. I've got my candles on and I put, oh yeah, and underneath every little shelf, just before I go, I've put little lights as well under every shelf here so that um, you know these are sensory lights as well and they do light up and it's just nice when you walk past it in the evening they just yeah, do little lights coming down on your shelf so yeah um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and um, yeah check the description box down below for some great fabulous ideas and I hope to see you all again in another video stay safe and take care